Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge is finally getting the security fixes that rolled out to the other Chromium-based web browsers last week, so better late than never. And this update was made available late yesterday in my region on the 7th of August. And as always, um, we head up to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge to double check that we have the update because we are dealing with important security issues that have been addressed. Now, after this update has been installed, latest version and build is 115.0.1901.200. So we're dealing with a point release, which has been bumped up from 0.188 to 0.200 with this latest security and bug fix update. And this is a double-sided update because we get important security issues that have been addressed and we also get bug fixes that have rolled out. Now, first of all, looking at the security fixes, we get give or take 17 security fixes that have rolled out for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. And out of those security fixes, there are nine high-risk vulnerabilities that have been patched, which is your second highest vulnerability after a critical vulnerability. So although there are no zero days or exploits in the wild, um, just double check your browser's up to date. Um, I know this update has rolled out way after the other Chromium updates, but nonetheless, just double check it's up to date as um, it will address and patch those issues so sooner than later. And over and above the uh, open source Chromium project fixes that have rolled out, the security fixes that have rolled out, we get one edge specific browser security fix, which is a security feature bypass vulnerability that's been addressed. So um, Chromium security fixes have rolled out and we also get one edge security fix that's rolled out. So just double check your browsers up to date. Now the next thing is we get various bugs and performance issues that have been addressed. So this is also a maintenance update, which is common for Microsoft to roll out between major version upgrades. And if you have experienced any glitches, performance issues, bugs, um, and just general problem, problems in the browser, just double check it's up to date as it may address and fix those glitches and those issues. Now, over and above the security fixes and the bug fixes that have rolled out, I have noticed um, the detach from edge feature has now become available in the sidebar with this latest point release update. And this has been progressively rolling out over the last couple of months. And you may have seen it in your stable version. You may have not. Um, and I have uh, mentioned this and focused on this when it was still in preview. And I actually posted a video on this a couple of days ago on how to detach uh, Microsoft Edge from the sidebar. Um, if it wasn't available in the stable version using a command line flag and i'll also leave that video down below so i have noticed that detach from edge uh, is available only on my windows 10 device using microsoft edge stable after this point release update has been applied and not my windows 11 device so this is a good indication that detach from edge which places the sidebar basically as a desktop widget very similar to the charms bar uh, that was found in the original release of Windows 8 back in the day. And this Detach from Edge seems to be rolling out with a controlled rollout. And if you want more info regarding this feature, just do a search on the channel as I have posted a couple of videos previously. And if you want to reattach everything, you just head down to the bottom and you click on Attach to Edge. And there we go. Uh, everything has been placed back and has reattached itself to the browser. So that's a small little bit of a feature update rolling out with this latest point release update. Now, while we are talking about updates, if we head to our calendar next week, uh, around about the 17th, we are expecting Microsoft Edge version 116 to roll out, which will be our next stable release. And that normally rolls out near the end of the week so that we can expect to start rolling out the 17th, which will be Thursday, moving into the weekend. And if it doesn't roll out at the end of next week, we will get it at the start of the next week. So end of next week, we are expecting to see Edge version 116 rollout, which will be our next major version upgrade and stable release rolling out for Microsoft Edge. So that's more or less what this update has brought. Security fixes, bug fixes, and detach from Edge now available on a control rollout in the stable version. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.